What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial. In this little program I want to show you guys how to make. It's an Instagram downloader and what it basically allows you to do is with PHP what you can do is you can have users sign into their Instagram accounts and download all of their Instagram photos. Now the reason that I actually made this is because I'm working on a social network right now and I thought you know what whenever they want to post a picture from their Instagram they have to go to Instagram download it and then save it re-upload it to Bucky's room and I was like you know what it would be awesome if they can just click a button sign in Instagram and have all of their pictures imported so they are all on my social network I want to make it easy for them so that is what I'm using it for but you guys just can use it to download maybe you just want to back up all your uh, photos from Instagram so anyways let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to instagram.com slash developer and you need to make a developer account but it doesn't like cost anything and it doesn't even take any time to approve it's pretty much just like creating an account for any website so once you have a developer account you can go ahead and at the top here click manage clients now a client you basically want to build one client for each new program you make using the Instagram API and of course the Instagram API is just a bunch of code that Instagram wrote that allows users to connect to their database so they can do things like download photos so what we want to do in here is we want to register a new client and it says sorry you're actually okay didn't know I had that so let's just go ahead and delete some and by the way typically you don't wanna be showing people all of this information now I'll show you why later but um I'm gonna be deleting all this because I don't trust you guys after I upload these tutorials so it's good right now so register a new client and your applications name is pretty much the name of your program and I am going to name mine BR downloader for Bucky's room downloader and the description it really doesn't matter they don't like review it or anything so I'm just gonna put best program ever now the website and this setting the O auth redirect URI are actually really important and let me talk to you guys about that and it's a really good idea to have these the same now the reason that you need to put your website right there is because they only allow websites that are registered to use their API you just can't make one client and use it you know on any website you want they want to have you know a strict overview and make sure no one's abusing the system now this thing right here this redirect URI is pretty much the website that people get redirected to after they log in now let me talk to you guys what about that what that means basically I'm gonna have a link on Bucky's room that says okay import all of my pictures from Instagram now whenever they click that link a little pop-up is gonna appear and it's gonna ask the user to log into their Instagram account now after they're done logging in this is the website where they get redirected to so that's why it's a good thing to have them both on the uh, the same web page there's like a clicking in my ear from my stupid headphones all right I think it's good alright so both of these can just be default and of course enter the captcha and register that bad boy now you can go ahead and copy this and like I said before your client ID is pretty much your identification number for a client it's pretty much says okay Bucky Roberts is using this client so if it does anything weird then we can go ahead and punch him in the face we know who's doing it your client secret is your password definitely don't want to give that away and I just talked about these two right here and like I said if you guys try to steal my stuff I'm gonna delete it by the time I upload these upload these videos so too bad now this is from my other tester but typically what you want to do at this point is go ahead and copy all of this data and just paste it into a text file for right now because um we're not setting we're not like configuring any PHP files right now this is just a very basic setup of our project and with that being said what I want to do now is actually create a folder called BR downloader start setting up my uh, main source files so I'm gonna make a new folder and it's a good idea to name it 
well, you have to name it wherever you're going to be. Just pretty much make sure that your source files match whatever URL you entered. And since I said that the main folder is going to be right after my public HTML directory, that's where I'm going to upload it to my server. I think I'm connected already. Refresh beer downloader. and upload that alright so now if I go I can see you just uploaded a folder it's empty but your project your bare bone project is good to go so now what we're ready to do is we're ready to jump in and start actually coding some PHP files and start writing some code so anyways we're gonna start doing this in the next tutorial. I think uh, I gave you guys enough information for now. And also, another thing I wanna mention, if you guys ever have any questions about anything or you wanna see the source code for this, you can just go to my forum. I'm gonna be putting everything into the PHP section. So, if you ever need it, it's right there. And also, if you ever get stuck on anything, you can ask people. A lot of people are willing to help out. But anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.